Okay, guys, I got a real serious matter I'd like to discuss just briefly, um, probably less than five minutes, but uh, I have to park in order to do this, because I have to read you a letter. Um, I get a, you know, a lot of support in, in different ways, you know. Sometimes financially, sometimes it happens to be, uh, you know, clothing, you know, supplies, etc., etc. I'm just going to park in this shitty village. Hope you enjoy the view of a tree. But that's the deal. And here is the deal. I'm going to read you a letter. Now, this is a long-time contributor to the channel. She's been here since day one. Her name is Dorothy. And uh, I'll quote, Daryl, thank you for, you know, all that you are doing for others. Now, this is a handwritten letter. I don't know how many people get handwritten letters anymore, uh, but this is one of them. I know it's expensive to pay for gas, supplies, for drinks and lunches, etc. This money is for you, underlined, to help you you know, buy gas, etc. You are doing a very good job. Thanks again, Dorothy from Texas. And she's just a little bit east of Houston. And I have not recognized her enough. Uh, every now and then, she'll have a handwritten letter popped up. I save them all. I've got dozens from a variety, a variety of users or users, <laughs> a variety of viewers. And uh, I just can't state it enough, you know, without you guys, you know, helping me out. I'm just a common dude. I really am. If you ever got to know me, you would really understand. I would go, you know, watch some football with you, have some chicken wings. But my point is, is that, you know, I, you know what this does? It totally motivates me to do more. She sent just now $100. I have a check in my hand, a paper check in my hand that I'm putting in my bank. That's actually where I'm at. And uh, it's just fabulous, you know, and these people go unrecognized, you know, for the most part. Sometimes it's very difficult to give proper recognition to everybody who helps because there's a lot of people you know it doesn't have to be financial it doesn't have to be you know coming to visit me and you know helping me hand out lunches and whatever it's really not about that part of it it's just the fact that you're here even watching you know but man it, it, it really does bring a tear to my eye you know, I've got viewers that are, you know, I get tons of emails. You know, there's a woman, Elizabeth, you know, an alias. She wants to go by Beth, um, which is cool. You know, she's battling some mental illness. And then I got another, you know, family that emails me and says, hey, you know, we're going through some rough times, but I want to help. And it's like, my Lord, it's just, it's a never ending cycle of, just caring loving people many of which who don't have a lot to contribute but do anyways and I find that applaudable and therefore you know it's just motivating it really is I started this channel about a year ago you know 14 months and it's just been you know, I, I, I'm not doing this for the money because believe me, that's not, that's not a, what you would say, uh, profitable, so to speak. I'm doing this because I care. Well, all right, guys, with all that being said, I just wanted to give some thanks. Um, there's tons of people that are helping and, uh, I couldn't do it without you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, we're going to get the day started. I'm going to leave here to the bank and uh, get over and 
you know, start helping some people because that's what it's all about. All right, stay tuned. More to come for sure. And, uh, oh boy, there's nobody. Oh, well, there's a young man. All right, let me see if uh, maybe I can help him out real quick. I mean, that's why I'm here. I'm not sure who it is. Let me park and I'll see if I can find out. The homeless and anything will help. Somewhat of a traditional sign. Let's make that happen. I'll be right back. How you doing, buddy? No, I got me a few clothes down. I'm sorry? Yeah, I got me a few clothes down. You got, you got some clothes? Yeah, we got enough to go to work. Good deal. Yeah. I don't uh, I don't believe we've met. I've been in prison for a year. You were in prison for a year? Yeah. Okay. I had not do this in a while. Wow. Yeah, well, you seem like a pleasant guy. My name is Daryl. I'm sorry? Uh, it's a nice to meet you. What's your name? Jason. Jason? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, here's one of my cars. I just yeah. tried to help people I got, out. I got out with Mole. Mole was with my old lady. My Mole was with my best friend, and I was up with them. Well, your old lady was with your best friend? Yeah, our place where I stayed at. I, uh, no, no, I can't go nowhere. I, I would imagine he's not your best friend anymore. Yeah. Would you like a water, sir? Yeah, thanks, sir. Yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah, a little bit. When was the last time you ate? Yesterday, somewhere. Yesterday. I'm sorry? Yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday. wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I promised my mom won't steal, so I'd rather do this than steal. Well, yeah, you don't want to. That's why I got me in prison, two dollars. So. You went to prison over two dollars. Yeah, it turned into a felony. It turned into a felony for two dollars. Let me guess. It was right here in the fine state of Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, prison right now. I don't want to go back to you. Well, no. Uh, I guess prison wouldn't be the ideal thing to do. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna grab you lunch. Uh, do you like peanut butter and jelly? Yeah. Okay, that's what I have. I just wanted to make sure you didn't have any allergies or, or whatnot. How you doing on hygiene stuff? I don't see any. That's all you got is deodorant. Yeah, so okay. All, all right, I'll tell you what. Let me start with the lunch real quick. I'll be right back. And uh, your sign says uh, homeless. Anything will helps. God bless. All right. Well, how long you been out here, man? I've never seen you before. Uh, How many? The night. The night. It was October. Three nights? No, October the night. October the night, but no, I mean here. I've oh, been here? Here, October the night. Oh, okay. I just stayed in Oh, so about a week. About a week. Okay. All right, cool. Well, I guess not cool. Yeah. Uh, but uh, all right, let me set you up. I'll be right back. I'm just parked right here. Yeah, bicycles and stuff. I ride all the way down to town and get, go to the gates. Yeah. Can't get down. I stole my bicycle. I was having some friends. You had a bicycle stolen? No, they stole all of my stuff. All of my stuff. Everything I have. I thought I was. I, where Where are you staying, if you don't mind me asking? Around uh, this river. <laughs> uh, I don't blame you for not disclosing your no, spot. No, no, I'm talking about I'm staying, I'm staying, well, Okay. Where, where, I, I got an idea what you're talking about. No, I yeah. I've been trailer. I've been coming to the house over there off the airport. So he yeah, asked last night because it's cold. Uh, yeah, it's it's one of the little chilly out. I don't trust people around here because we're like. Well, no, you you know you really can't trust anybody but yourself. So All right. I thought I started here. I started doing this right here. And then I moved way up. And I thought I was a big guy. You know, I had a place over there. Like, it was all nice. And lots of all kinds of stuff. And I, got, I guess I got told I got brought back down. You know? Yeah. Sometimes you can lose all. You know, I have two women. I had two women here. Yeah, two women. Yeah. How do you juggle that? I still have one. I have a plus one. I ain't got any one of them. I couldn't even have one when I got out. Like, you must be a stallion. Oh, I was stupid. All right. Hey, buddy, I'll be right back. Let me get you a lunch. I'll set you up. You hungry? Yeah. All right. I'll. Yeah, anything else. Yeah. It's like, all right, well, I got a lunch for you. And then we'll go on from there. As long as I don't get run over by the mail truck. I got, I got a skedaddle, okay. Traffic's brisk. So is the weather, man. You probably hear the wind. I'm gonna cover the microphone a little bit. Boy, that wind is cutting right through you. All right, he's got a water. I got some prepared lunches, per se, as normal. And that happened just a few hours ago. Ran out yesterday, no problem. 
Let me see what I can help this man with. So you're saying you... I got to make my D money for I made my bitch money, my clothes money, get to go work. And I got made money up. I bought and got me ID. So, uh, so you have ID? Yeah, I got ID now. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a bicycle. I'm trying to get some houses. I don't know. 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 All right. I don't know. I just said before it was a lot different. But you talk very fast and very softly. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I guess my question would be is like, so you say you got out of prison October. in October 9th. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Over $2? $2, yeah, shoplifting in Walmart. Shoplifting at Walmart, a $2. That must have been a third strike type thing. Yeah. Well, okay, that's why there was a prison sentence, you know. All right, none of my business. But uh, I just had to figure, I, I couldn't process that that yeah. thought thought pattern. All right, so you need some hygiene items? Yeah, yeah. Okay. How you doing on socks, young man? Yeah, I got purple ones. The, one, the ones you're wearing. Uh, yeah, they're purple. I only got, I ain't got none. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna give you a, a bag, you know, a carrying bag, and uh, I'll get you some supplies. You need some soap and deodorant and shampoo and that type of thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, fantastic. All right. What was your name again? Jason. Dick. Jason. Thank Good you. to meet you, sir. All right, I'll be right back. Give me a uh, four, four and a half minutes. You know, I like, I like, it could be five. I like, I like the other stuff. It's not. They're not your friend. Nobody's your friend. If you are, if well, you're doing bad stuff, you're doing bad stuff. They're not your friend, and they will rob you when you go. Well, you gotta be careful for the people who pretend to be your friends and talk you up, and you know you bump you bump elbows, and you're all friendly, and next thing you know, he's got your backpack and he's rolling down the street. Yeah, but and, well, yeah, that too. I like so. You had two thousand dollars in a safe yeah. that got stolen. Yeah, I, I was. I moved up from out here. So I got, got over there. Over there. I got. Another, I got another place. Yeah. I was out there on history circle. He had the stuff locked up there, and I had stuff on another place. And both of them, both of them, were come out. Like, they both of us been waiting. You know. <laughs> so <laughs> I was gonna go be one of them waiting. If I understand what you're telling me, is that right now you're living in the woods. Yeah, I ain't basically. Yeah. Okay. It's not hard because I can't steal stuff. Yeah. Well, hey, if you went to White House, well, no. You, obviously, if you go to prison for two dollars of a, a, you know, shoplifting at Walmart, uh, obviously the the reward is not worth the the penalty. Yeah. They're trying to get me. They're trying to fix. I reckon. I don't know. That's what they said on the radio. All right. They need to. I'll tell you what, Jason. Let me get you. Let me get you a, a care package set up for you, and uh, I'll get you some essentials. You know, help you out a little bit. And uh, like I said, my name's Daryl, yeah. and uh, you know, I, I've been doing this for a while. My email information is on the card I gave you. Okay. You know, do you have access to internet and phone? Do you have a phone? Well, since I go over and do my food stamps, that's the next thing I'm gonna do. Okay. Yeah. I believe if you get a, if you get food stamps. I think you can qualify for a free government phone, but I'm not sure how long that program is going to be in existence. I've heard some rumors that it's going to be canceled, and but I guess until it is. Now, are you familiar with Greater Works and Providence down the street yeah, yeah, for I, meals and stuff? Yeah, it's just, I got to give a bike back. It's a lot of ride That's a long ways, yeah, from here for sure. I had to get these head and bobos on. I, I who uh, do you know who took your bike? Seven. You had about seven bikes. Yeah. Like all five hundred dollar bikes. I gotta, I gotta ask you, how, how does it happen where you lose seven bikes? One person is not going to take seven bikes. Yeah. Well, I guess there was a posse. Yeah, they got a bunch of them. They probably sold them or something. Trade them off or something. Wow. Okay. I'll tell you what. I think they, they, they want to call. They, they, they want to let it like. I let them know that I didn't go. I, I missed court. I have my reasons, but I let one person know, the girl. And I, okay. She called, they called me, you know. She, right. she, she was sleeping with him. All right. Well, we don't need to get into that per, per se, but I'm going to get you a, a, a backpack, you know, type thing, 
you know it's a you know string bag but i'm gonna put some supplies in there for you you need toothbrush toothpaste that type of thing okay i can set you up all right jason nice to meet you i'll be right back man just give me a minute all right good to see you all right man this is this horrible what's worse is the traffic yeah, yeah. Yeah. not literally but. they come fast and furious in this village okay frogger baby baby now look like a fool but then again that's not hard to do i'm gonna set this dude up mr jason fresh out of prison over two bucks but then again he said it was uh you know a uh third strike type thing and told the truth none of my business i'm gonna get him a couple packs of cleaning wipes we got some body wipe action hustle clean fantastic into the bag we go i'm not sure if he smokes but i'll be prepared just in case into my pouch okay bar of soap that's a must some deodorant shampoo and conditioner built into one i'm gonna get him a a flashlight i'm gonna have to show this to him when i get there toothbrush toothpaste all right i guess we'll start there oops oh lord that's a beautiful dog. Yeah, thank you. It, 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 Chihuahua? Chihuahua, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. What? Uh, him or her? Uh -huh. Female? It's a, a female. 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 What's her name? Luna. Luna? Yeah. Que pasa, Luna? <laughs> she don't like you. <laughs> All right, have a good day, sir. <laughs> Luna's angry. A little bitty thing. How cool. I love dogs, man. All right, here we are playing Frogger again. Fantastic. All right, Jason, here's the story. Tell you what, let's turn around here a little bit, if you could, just for 10 seconds. Let me show you what we got going on. Uh, obviously, here's a carrying bag. You know, you pull it tight and you can wear it as a backpack or carry it on your shoulder, whatever you want to do. I got you some cleaning wipes. It's called uh, Hustle Clean, unscented, yep. body sweat, etc., etc. Some deodorant, uh, a toothbrush with a with a small toothpaste. But here's another toothpaste to help you out. Bar of soap. Do you, do you need a razor? Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. shave? Yeah, okay. Yeah. There you go. Uh -huh. Well, you can set that down. Uh, yeah. And I got you a flashlight. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you. Yeah. I, lost, I, lost one. I lost mine. I don't know if it fell out. It was like somewhere over here. You lost there. your flashlight? Yeah. Well, that's not cool. So, let me borrow one. Here's some shampoo. It's conditioning shampoo. Paul Mitchell. And some nail clippers. Yeah. yeah. They'll probably help you out. It's hard to get them to get the other stuff in the league. I mean, I'm going to do it right away. Get it right away, I think. I'm about to stop it. First few days, cause I was like, I was walking to my old lady, you know, like everything I had, like on. Uh, I put through it. I'm making it. I'm, I'm trying to. Yeah. It, it, the coldness is what gets me. The coldness. Yeah. I eat that. Well, I will say this. I'm working with a family, uh, you know, uh, you know, for, from my YouTube channel. That's going to help me out. We're going to prepare for a, a big winter extravaganza type thing. You know, we got to, you know, gloves and and hats and sleeping bags and blankets and stuff that's going to happen real soon and uh you know to be honest i don't know if i'll ever see you again right i just got the shoes with my feet were so sore from walking i'm talking about like walking in my prison boots yeah. when you get out trying to find yeah like, i gotta get some clothes i gotta clothes are you able to work uh, yeah. Well, what skills do you have? Do you got any uh, trade skills? Uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, go to be. I was a roofer. Man, I'm gonna go, You're a roofer? Yeah, I'm gonna go up here now. Uh, he's a, Some of them are a temp yeah. agency? We're, we're sorry, we're sorry, I'm gonna go there, but I'm gonna make sure I got a place where I can put my clothes at when I go. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Over, no, absolutely. No, yeah, I get you know, it. That was over to it, well, I guess your first priority is, you know, safety and security. But uh, I want you to dig into that lunch. There's a Kool-Aid pack, peanut butter and jelly. There's a spoon in there so that you can make your own peanut butter and jelly sandwich, should you choose. I thought we'd down the wrong road, but I didn't. I didn't yeah. go down the wrong road. I, mean, like, I got a spray there for me. I did a full pack for you kept, talk very fast, sir. Yeah, I, kept, I gotta. I just gotta say. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm ADHD. I'm not too. I'm but, lot, but. All right. Well. Yeah, like, you think you're gonna be all right then? Yeah. Are you having a better day now? Yeah. I guess so. All right. I well, now you got some supplies you could buy for a little bit. You know. I got. Uh, like somebody when well, I got down, we got the three pair pants. You might have been the best pants ever. Oh, you got here, I like them. You got, too small. <laughs> you got three pairs of pants? Did they get stolen? I'm going to go there. Everything got stolen. No, I got, I got three pairs now. Just, all right. I'm going to go work. I was going to go work. Okay. I don't want to do this all the time. Well, no, at least you're able and willing to work, you know. It's taking longer than what I thought because you know, I ain't got a place. But you haven't been to a temp agency? Uh, they can find you some immediate placement, you know. Yeah, I had that place to come back to I'm not sure how, how popular roofing is this time of year, you know, for fall, but obviously if you got experience, that's kind of a high risk job, you know, in my opinion. I'm not going to be climbing too many roofs, you know, personally. <laughs> but, uh, you know. I, I, I work for you for a week. I ain't doing it. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Okay. Well, all right. Okay. Is there anything else you need? We got you quite a few items there to kind of help you out for a little bit. Plus, you can, uh, you know, obviously it's a, it's a backpack type style, you know, throw it over your shoulder, whatever you want to do, you know. But I encourage you to dig into that lunch and get some get some snacks. There's a Kool Aid pack in there. You got that water? Okay. All right, fantastic. Yeah. All right, Jason. It was a pleasure to meet you, young man. I'll tell you what. Is it okay if I if I see you again? If I stop by and talk to you? Okay. All right. Fantastic. Be all right. I'm doing a lot of walking. I will say this: if if you're uh, you only been out here a week, I'll just warn you to be you know be careful because they oh. they run a lot of people off and code enforcement's pretty serious. Normally, I see a half a dozen people here. You know. Oh, they got a bunch of people out there. working some police. Well, I, won't, I, I don't know anything about them working for the police, but yeah, it doesn't seem like it would make much sense, you know, for the homeless to be working for the police. But none know. of my business, you know. It's pretty crazy, over there. Yeah, I'd say. I, don't, I almost go over there, Bob. You're different. It used to be like that. It used to be different. I, I lived over there. Yeah. yeah. Well, all right, sir. I got a few more destinations in 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 uh, in my plans for the day, yeah. but I. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I just wanted to stop by and introduce myself. You know, I'm just here to help you out. You know, it's been about a year or so that I've been helping people. You know, trying to anyway. You know. I'm just trying to give me a bike now. Trying to give me a bike now. Well, you had seven stolen. At least you should probably uh, be able to get one in return. You know, something you can use. But uh, well, to tell the truth, the bikes are a dime a dozen around here. You know, but. Any other county, you walk down the road and everybody's got bikes on your here. I don't know if I don't want to stolen. If I get one of them, it might be stolen. I don't want to. In order to have seven bikes stolen, no, you got to be able to recognize no, no, some of those seven. My best friend got rid of them. I mean, he got rid of them. Yeah, he got a camera got them back on. So your best friend stole them? Yeah, he said somebody else got them. He said somebody else got them. Well, I guess with friends like that, I probably wouldn't need many enemies. Yeah. Just saying. All right, sir. That Good to see you. Too. I had to go get that. that I mean, at least guys, you hey, at least you got ID and, you know, you're legit. You're just trying to get by, you know. But uh, all I'm going to say is obviously, you know, don't have to state the obvious, but, you know, obviously be careful. You know, but uh, especially crossing this road. You know. No, there's some, uh, there's some insanity going on around here. All right, buddy. Yeah. Good to see you, man. All right, I'm telling you, dig into that lunch. You know, you're a you're a thinner type fella, so 
you know, get down on some protein. You know. Try to get there and go, go over, get everything situated, go work. That's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you sound motivated, so, you know, have at it. All right. I'll tell you what, I will leave you to your business and uh, no longer uh, be here to pester you. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I know. I'm just saying, you know, you're, uh, you know, you're at work. Yeah. Right now, this is your job. I'm trying to get up to put down on a bicycle. All right. I go buy with somebody. I give a few dollars. Not $10, but $10. All right. Well, I'm 49 years old. I'm, uh, I'm ready. 49 years old? Yeah, I'm about to lie. Man. Okay. I got, I, got, I got a little, they mess with me a little bit, a little bit when I'm, I found my leg with another man, you know? You got some serious miles on those legs, don't you? Yeah. All right. Yeah, titanium means you push up, baby. Hold on, hold on. I have about. I have about zero luck when it comes to vehicles with loud exhaust. It just happens. I don't know why. You know, no rhyme, no reason. But all right, sir. All right, have a good day. I got speech to him. I talked past it. Maybe it was <laughs> well, I don't believe you have a speech impediment. I just think that you're pretty smart because you talk very fast. In order to, to articulate the words all together very quickly is is a skill. But uh, all right, sir. All right, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. My nerves just shot. Yeah, you'll be hooked up. I'm getting back. Up. All right. Here's my window of opportunity. It's limited. Man, brand new guy, Mr. Jason. Fresh out of prison. Over two bucks. I couldn't imagine. To be honest, so. You could be jaywalking, and that would be a parole slash probation violation. Sad to say, but that's the state of affairs. But, uh, well, here he is. You know, he's he's trying. You know, he, he's doing what he can. And unfortunately, that's you know that's the reality he's living right now. So, the seatbelt attached. Okay, guys, let's uh let's move on. Got things to do. Um, it's uh, well, I won't say too early, but early for me. All right, guys, be back shortly.